it's been a minute or ten. Alrighty, uh, we got another one we're working on. I just thought I'd share. It might help some folks because it's kind of low buck. Um, Little Red's got new turbos on her. We maxed out the 6168s at 900 tire on 11 pounds of boost. It wouldn't make any more after that. So we dumped the factory manifolds I made, the homemade ones, and got some actual, oh, they're out of Houston. I forget the name of the company. They welded me up these stainless ones. We got new 7070s on a, I want to say a 96AR if I remember right. And there's my old homemade manifold. I made 900 horse. Anyway, having transmission troubles with this turd. We tried to put in a CK trans brake. As some of you know, I didn't find this out until afterwards. They're incredibly hard to get a hold of and get any tech support on. Couldn't get it to work. Sent it to the transmission shop four hours away. He rebuilt it, put it back in. Still doesn't work. There's a junkyard one we threw in. In the meantime, it overheated instantly and burned a transmission cable in half. This is the troubles we've been having in the last six months. It's been fun. So anyway, what we're doing with the high boy, this is my wife's. It's got a L and L swap kit. It has a mostly stock 460 that we got out of a 78 250 that a tree had fallen on. Um, we just cleaned it up, put a 214, like 500 lift cam in it. It's got a performer and a 750 brawler on it. Um, so what we're doing, she is now addicted to stew stew noises, courtesy of her husband. She wanted a turbo or a blower. We decided to go turbo. So this is what we got. We picked up a on sale VS Racing 7875 billet on a 96AR T4 divided flange. We are going to run the flip truck manifolds flipped, um, side swapped is the plan. It looks like it'll work. I won't know until later today when we get the headers and the exhaust off of it. And then turn them forward, run the piping around the front, have them Y, and go to our turbo. So this is literally a $10 12 by 12 piece of 3 16 steel that I got at the local metal reclaiming yard. Um, so for 15 bucks, we have a bracket to mount the turbo to, so we can just run the smaller exhaust tubing and stuff for the turbo itself. And that is where we're at. We got to get a oil supply line, drop the pan and get a return line into it, which should be easy on this one. Uh, we're already set up on an electric fuel pump and this has three eighths factory hard lines for fuel and that five sixteenths for return. So we use the factory hard line for the feed, the factory return, get a bypass regulator in here, and then just put in a bigger electric fuel pump up under here that we're already set up for. So that'll be fun. We will see how it goes.